Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Jupiter will go retrograde on 20th of June. It rules our social expansion and retrograde periods which happen every 13 months for 4 months are the time when our collective growth seems to slow down as we have to process where we are going. This is a natural part of the cycle. Jupiter visits a part of our chart every approximately 12 years. So during these next four months, it would rework the opportunities in that area of our life, detoxing it of the social influences and excesses to make sure that's the right direction for us. If we have hit a wall, not able to make any progress any further in our growth during the retrograde period, we would by our own efforts find alternative ways to move forward. The excesses are paired, the blockages are removed and the intentions are cleared. So we are sure of the direction of growth we are taking based on our own happiness and sense of fulfillment versus social pressures. Because the transit is spread across two zodiac signs, we would review the two areas of your life, Capricorn, where we would revisit the topic of growth. One is meant to help us in 2021 and the other in 2022. They together define your growth patterns of 2021 and 2022. Capricorn Jupiter would first go back over the subject of growth and fulfillment from communication projects and commercial contracts for you till 28th of July. Then after 28th of July till 18th of October, we would have a review of your financial assets of your growth in self-worth and net worth. We'll go deeper into both of these topics today. This is part two, which is sign specific for you, Capricorn. I have also covered the collective impact of the transit in a separate video. Do go through it because it's a social planet. So understanding the collective impact is also important. My name is Charu and I'm your host on this journey. So let's dig in. Capricorn, as I mentioned, Jupiter would be first going back over the subject of growth and fulfillment from communication projects and commercial contracts for you, as well as skills till 28th of July. After 28th of July till 18th of October, we would see a review of growth from your assets, possessions, income, self-worth and net worth. Capricorn focus of Jupiter's growth for you in 2021 is on your net worth and self worth. This was last experienced in 2009. This is the phase in which we expand our personal resources and strengths, which includes financial worth. Opportunities for financial gains are sought. We engage in experiences that add value to us as a person, build up our sense of worth. Some do it by adding skills to themselves, which make them more valuable in the market. Some do it by investing. Some by trying to get into projects or jobs that increase their pay or market value. While some do it by finally standing up for themselves and asking for their true worth. Values we hold and the values we demand of our work go through a phase of expansion. At the very least, we come to the realization that we deserve both more in our personal life as well as in our professional life in terms of returns. Coming from experience of Jupiter in our sign in 2020, where we stopped limiting what's possible for us by opening all avenues of expansion when Jupiter was in your sign, now in 2021, we have to establish which of these avenues are worth our time and energy. Our body is also an asset. During Jupiter transit here, we try to invest in its well-being or we should. Now when Jupiter goes retrograde from 20th of June on, we review how the progress on these endeavors of self-worth and net worth enhancement has so far fared and where has it gotten us. Too many options are normally open during the forward moment, which was the case so far. So we'll have to evaluate which of the investments were worth it. Which avenues of making money truly fulfill you? Or have you been asking for your true worth or you're still undervaluing yourself by measuring yourself on a decade old scale? If we have been relying on someone else to give us that value that we deserve or to be fair to us, or to financially help us or notice us 
and give us the raise or give us the respect we deserve we would take matters in our hand during this cycle instead of waiting for support from external factors we'll go after ourselves what we deserve we take a different tact in financial matters find different ways of earning if the current ones are not matching to what we deserve or they are not serving us in the right way re look at our expenses if we have overextended ourselves which is also common excesses and expenses are very common when jupiter is in our second house which is the case for you this year so if some of that has happened you'll go back in terms of any overextension of that some of the things we want or own are driven by some other factors which don't truly really bring us joy so the possessions that you have that is draining you they are also reviewed or the expenses sometimes that we do on others that is reviewed during this time what are we holding on to in terms of assets and what we need to detox out of and that holds true very much about our diet as well our relationship with our own ego is reviewed as well here because the self reliance can become an obsession when jupiter is in our sign and we need to recognize where we do need to find the right person or an expert opinion to grow versus trying to do everything ourselves like taking care of everything when it comes to finances yourself trying to take care of everything in property matters yourself so the people who know the niche of the assets you're investing in you'll try to seek that out trying to get lost in financial matters is something that could have happened so far if things have not yielded results by taking that tact or if you say even outsourced investment to somebody or used some of those agents to manage your assets and that did not work out well you'll try a different tact and change things there you would review your choices value system in this time to see what you're doing for earning is that truly fulfilling you do you have your own moral conviction behind it what makes us feel worthy do we have fears over finances which make us compromise on our well-being do we need different skills which are more valuable in the market to earn the kind of income we want do we need to stand up for ourselves in seeking our worth in personal and professional situations more and why don't we why do i buy this why do i eat that do i not go for more because intrinsically i don't believe i deserve more all these questions of self worth body net worth would be evaluated to make sure we are on the right track as the expansion you create this year the revenue sources you create this year and the investments you make this year they both in your body in your finances and your skills will support you for the next decade of growth cycle you would this year create your own unique way of get the kind of resources you want the way you want to earn money will always be a little bit more unique you have aquarius in your house of money aquarius is a sign of unique we earn resources from unique independent sources and it will be through your brilliance it will be through your skills which are unique and your skills that are always kept up to date with the current trends money matters for you are better handled through more objective lens which is easier to do if you have outsourced investments our attitude to worthiness is much more important or normally a precursor to both physical well-being and financial well-being so what is our attitude to worthiness you would review that the growth when jupiter goes retrograde in your house of worthiness happens from within before the external manifestation can show up self awareness worthiness within these will have key role in your external achievement going forward ego though 
ego is different from worthiness and that distinction also needs to be made because when jupiter comes in our house of worthiness sometimes we walk this thin line of ego versus worthiness and that shows up in our relationship that shows up in our sharing with others all these are important considerations that you would have as you review without external influences or support the building blocks of you you are in the foundational years of recreating your i recreating your identity your physical and emotional assets are important part of that foundation when saturn came in your sign your ruler till 2020 that's when the cycle of recreation of your i began and your physical and emotional assets are now the next step in which we are deep and in the thick of now this is the outcome of 2021 in terms of jupiter transit and this was also the output of 2009 if you want to look back what happened in 2009 and bring forward certain lessons from that time this review of your self worth and net worth will become more prominent after 28th of july because before that there is another topic which is more a focus of growth for 2022 which jupiter is also just dipping it toes into and that is the next level which is how do you share what you know so your communication skills and commercial growth driven by those communication skills will be the source of growth for you in 2022 how do we think what is our thinking pattern and where does it get us in terms of our growth that will be key for you so jupiter will fully come in your house of communication and commercial endeavors in 2022 it's the time when we broaden our contacts we interact more with people we learn new skills we teach we read we write we share we communicate a lot we create commercial value from our ability to communicate and we enhance the value we create from our communications we enhance our skills that will be the topic for 2022 and you last experience that in 2010 it's like an update that happens we are like a sponge when jupiter comes in a house of mind our mind is like a sponge and we absorb so much information it's the time when we broaden our learning learning opportunities are expanded our interaction with neighborhood or our immediate environment grows as we socialize more we make more contacts this is a very active socially active period of your life that will happen in 2022 and you might be seeing a preview of that since mid of may to now it's very mentally stimulating transit where we are encouraged to share views and soak in new skills which would serve us in our commercial efforts especially in self made wealth you have a mind of a poet a creative a highly imaginative mind which will be given a boost and the confidence to share those thoughts share your ideas share your musings funny or deep we are seeing a preview of this transit mid may to end july amping your ability to connect with others and your ability to speak up market sell share your views this is an outward energy and you will feel the benefits of that through a beautiful grand water trine which is forming on 20th to 23rd of june and another one on 12th of july this is a grand trine in the house of relationships which encourages us to communicate and share our life more with others a pleasant exchange with a friend or a spouse or an acquaintance sparks something new a new idea a thought which might be an idea it could be a creative idea an idea of a book a commercial idea an idea of a trip an idea that takes you out of the mundane in some ways that sparks something in you and might be the impetus to get to work on a creative idea a book a marketing project a trip a new skill that you would like to acquire it opens your mind to possibilities new possibilities and this is what you will grow in 2022 but you would also recognize 
there is more work to be done on that idea and you'll start working on that in July itself as you try to evaluate the merits of it and whether you would like to go forward on it or not and you should be working on that if it's a commercial contract if it's a commercial contract an idea of a commercial contract and for some of you an actual communication of a contract or a project could come could come and which is especially true if you have capricorn rising sun or moon around 2 degree of capricorn which is around 23rd of december born you will evaluate the full merit of it for all of you you would evaluate the merit of this new thought process that is coming to you whether it's truly for you more work needs to be done to develop this muse, this idea, this fantasy, which could be felt by most of you. This can just be a fleeting conversation, which can dissipate, but you'll have to actively try to make use of it. There are some practical aspects to be considered, and there are certain blind spots which we could have, which we could have in this idea. And those blind spots will come out and open in July as well. Imaginative my dear, uh, mind sometimes misses the details. So you'll have to go over the details that we have missed. And it will not be till January of 2022 when we would come to a working model or clear view of this. This last happened in the transition from December of 2009 to January 2010, if you like to look at the precise timing. But now, instead of days, this is extended over months. The aim of the cycle and of 2022 is to make some commercial and tangible use of all this beautiful imagery that you have in your head, the ideation beautiful imagination you have and how to structure all of that into a physically commercially viable output which is the goal of this rework of an ideal that you'll do in july that's what i have for you capricorn hope for this was helpful and i'll see you in the next video now thank you